box repair guide. It is recommended you use a power screwdriver. You will also need two torque bits, a T20 and T10, and a couple small screwdrivers, both flathead and Phillips. Xbox disassembly. Using a small flat screwdriver, lift up the corner, but do not completely remove, the small rubber foot pad to reveal the screw underneath, and then remove the screw using the power screwdriver. There are also two screws that are hidden under the stickers, one in the front center and one in the back. Using a small flat screwdriver or razor blade, cut a small hole to reveal the screw. Once you have removed all the screws, you can remove the cover by turning the unit over and giving it a quick pull to release and lift off the cover. To start off, we're going to remove the drives by removing the screws in the corner of the drives. To remove the hard drive, you'll need to disconnect the cables in the back of the drive and then just lift the drive up and unhook the power cable and swing the drive over. To remove the DVD-ROM drive, you can also just lift up and over. You can then disconnect the IDE cable. On the hard drive, you will need to disconnect the power and IDE cable from the back to completely remove from the unit. To remove the power supply, remove the two screws on either end. Pull the power supply forward, lift the front up and lift out. You will then need to disconnect the power supply cable from the main PC board. Pulling firmly, you may have to rock it gently from side to side in order to remove it. You will then be able to completely remove the power supply from the unit. To remove the motherboard or main PC board from the casing, you will need to remove the 11 screws from the board.
Next, you can remove the controller ports by lifting and unclipping from the main board. To disconnect the cooling fan, unplug the connector and then using a small flat screwdriver, you can release the clips on either side and pop out. You should now be able to remove the PC board by sliding forward and lifting out.